We're going to start off with a pork belly and turn it into bacon. I'm going to need a half a cup of salt to begin with. So that's two of these. Half a cup of brown sugar. And a half a cup of maple syrup. And the last ingredient, but not least, is I pre-measured out our pink cure, or crack powder number one, as it says. Now I gotta stir this up as much as I possibly can. I think I'm gonna add a little bit more maple syrup. There you go. Yeah, that looks about the right consistency. Okay. Bring back the bacon. And what I want to do is I want to put some in the bottom of this. Not all of it, just a little bit. We'll put the first layer of bacon in. Push it all around. Add some more of the cure. This is going to sit in the cure for about a week. And what's going to happen is it's going to draw out a lot of the water, and uh, you'll have a lot of liquid in this pot or in this Tupperware pan. Next one, place on top, add some more gear. There you go, and finally the last piece. Don't worry, you don't have to coat it evenly at this point. Every day you're going to want to take it out, shake it around a little bit, move the cure around, make sure it gets evenly all over the place. You're going to do that probably seven or eight times over the course of the week. Every time you go in your fridge for another beer, give it a little bit of exposure. Here you go. We're going to cover it up. Perfect. I'll see you in a week and then we'll start smoking it. Nice. Okay, we've had this bacon in the brine for about seven days. I just took it out, rinsed it off, and I'm just now trying to uh, get any excess salt or sugar off of it. It's looking pretty good. The cure's done its thing. You can tell that the flesh is firmed up and uh, it's just about ready to go in the smoker which is where I'm gonna see you next because we're gonna pop it in in just a few minutes. You'll also notice that it still has the skin on. We're gonna take that off a little bit later. Get the meat probe in there. Perfect. Load it up. All right, we're ready to start smoking. We're not gonna add any heat. We're gonna only cold smoke for about an hour and then we'll slowly add a little bit of heat. This whole process is about the temperature of the bacon. We want to get it to an internal temperature of 150 degrees Fahrenheit, and then we'll take it out. So, set it up. We've got it set for five hours and 20 minutes. I honestly don't know how long it's going to be in there. Uh, right now, there's no temperature. The smoke chamber's at 62 degrees Fahrenheit. Let's see what the uh, bacon's at. 48 degrees Fahrenheit, so it's got 100 degrees to go. This is gonna be great. 
Okay, the bacon's been in the smoker now for about three and a half hours. I just checked the temperature, it's at 140 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, I'm just gonna remove the skin real quickly, set it off to the side. So one more hour in the Bradley smoker and we are done. Oh yeah, we are. All right, you may recall we started at ambient temperature when we were doing the smoke. Um, I slowly increased the temperature of the smoker up to about 190 degrees. And we finished the bacon actually at 146 degrees Fahrenheit. So all I'm gonna do now is take it out. We're gonna put it in the fridge, cool it off, get it all nice and firm. And tomorrow morning I'm gonna slice off a few strips of bacon and hopefully have a great breakfast. So with that being said, it's hot. Let me show you what we have. There you go. So that cure we did up, that was in there for a week, you got all the good color of bacon. It's exactly what you want. It was all done in a Bradley smoker and you try doing this in any other machine, good luck. Is a Bradley smoker never burns the wood down to an ash. It only burns it long enough to get the smoke flavor out of it. And then it goes into the pot of water and extinguishes. And it continues to do that all day. That is the biggest secret. It's controlling how your wood makes smoke. Doesn't get too hot. Doesn't burn the wood down to an ash. Just long enough to get the good, clean smoke flavor on it. And we'll talk about that in, in later videos, so please stay tuned.